Hello my intuitors, it's Aria here. Welcome to the Intuit Cafe. And I'm just shuffling cards right now, just about to leave them out for a reading that I'm going to do this week that I thought the focus would be really neat to do on what I'm calling the heart of the soulmate. And depending on how this works out, I might just start making it a, re making it a regular thing. But one of the things I've really discovered as a card reader is that when I have something a little bit more focused to do a reading on, I get a lot better messages and information that comes through. First of all, I just want to apologize. I didn't do any readings during the week. I had a number of private readings that I was doing, but I was also kind of feeling a little um, stuck on daily readings and feeling like I didn't really um, like what was coming through that much. It wasn't to me, it wasn't all that exciting or interesting. Maybe it has been for those of you who've watched it and I appreciate that. I found that I get a little frustrated and a little bored when I'm not, when I'm just doing general readings and I'm not reading for specific clients. When I do private readings, I get so much more specific information that comes through because I am tuning into one person's energy. But then the message that is created in that process ends up being so good and so much better, I think, than when I'm doing general readings that I had, I had kind of an epiphany today and I was like, you know, I really wish that I could have like a, a private reading for someone, but then post it for public viewing and then allowing the viewers to, you know, view, so you'll be able to see the questions that were asked. And of course, just, you'll know, you'll be able to resonate if this message is going to be similar or something along the lines of where you're headed as well. So it's kind of like your own intuition ends up tuning into the message and deciding even ahead of time. Should I listen to it or not? Is it going to be you know, filled with messages that are for me or not? I would like to have a, a number of people with wide variety of questions messaging me, asking for readings that you know will be published publicly with no names or anything attached, but because you're kind of doing me a favor for my channel by allowing me to publish it publicly, I'm going to kind of return the favor in the sense that instead of asking for a specific price for the reading, I'm going to do readings on a donation basis. So allowing you as a viewer to offer, you know, whatever it is you feel like you can afford, an energy exchange that's reasonable, go ahead and make a donation to my channel and just say, I'm interested in doing and participating in the, um, reading by donation. I don't know how long I'll run that special. We'll just kind of see how it goes. But I'm really hoping that I get enough people volunteering that I can, you know, maybe be posting a new reading every day. And I'll, I'll be a lot more inspired uh, to do daily readings when I have variety. Because I find that when I'm just sitting down to do daily readings, I'm, I'm getting bored with them. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys will get bored watching them. Maybe I have a lot of people who love watching them regardless, but I think that all of us will get more out of it when I'm tuning into one specific person's energy and their situation and then allowing the rest of you to tune into that specific reading once it's already created. It's kind of like a pick a card reading, only it's a pick a reading reading and you'll get to you know decide ahead of time is this going to be a message are these these questions are they similar to my questions that i have and then asking your higher guidance even to just tell you yes this has a message for you or no it doesn't so uh, let's without any further ado let's get right on into your reading by your sign of the zodiac and thanks so much for watching liking and subscribing to my channel and we will talk to you soon Taurus this is what I've got for your heart of the soulmate reading this week and I'm gonna start right here we have branches two things diverging into two or thing uh, branches things that are diverging into two or more things and solitude and being on your own a door is a transition and the broom sweeping away something you don't need anymore and then heart who or what you love passion and romance so Taurus, this is the heart of the soulmate. This is so you can have a glimpse into what's going on with them. This may be somebody you already know, you know who they are, you're connected to them in some way already. Or it's someone who's coming into your life soon if you haven't met them yet. And this is what's going on with them. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, check your moon or your rising sign as well. So solitude right now is going to um, pay off. It's kind of what this, what this is about here. I feel like a lot of you are still single and this is just letting you know and they are too so or 
if they're if they're still in a relationship with someone yet and haven't come to you yet they are on their own in some way so it's like they're taking a break um you know it's it's a transition um they're about to move into some kind of transition and that transition transition is involving them being on their own in some way and and that will then open up and diverge and bring more things into their experience than would have otherwise taken place. Oh, I do want another card on this. Tree is slow and steady growth. Okay, so I will say that I think for a lot of you, um, whatever whoever this person is, they're still not there in your life um, fully. Maybe you know who they are, but they haven't like you know stepped into your life because they're really going through this it's important growth it's an, a growth experience this branching so we have branches here we have this the tree here this branching this growing into more slow and steady it may have been going on for some time and it may end soon because i do have the transition here uh but for some of you maybe it's still a little bit more time left on that and it, it you know really varies by everybody's situation but regardless, we do have a door, a transition is taking place. That's front and center here, regardless. So sweeping away of something that's not needed in, in order to make room for love. It's kind of the same thing. I feel very much that this time and solitude is giving them the opportunity to, you know, grow more. I'm, I'm remembering um, when I was in, in, um, in, in high school, I had a job for a while in a greenhouse. And our job was to simply trim the tomato plants and they would have these little things called suckers, which I'd never heard about before until I was, had that job. And this, the tomato plant grows like normally with all of its normal branches, but then a sucker grows up in between, here's a regular branch and then the tomato vine straight up and then there's a sucker grows in between. And that sucker itself, if you don't trim it off, it will grow like into a whole nother plant. That's how the plant multiplies. That's what's happening here. This is not just another branch coming off of like the tree. The tree is like that, but this is that really that, that, you know, those suckers that grow off and this happens with all kinds of plants, roses and whatnot. And it's not that you don't want any suckers. You want some of them. You would, there would be some that you would keep, but then others that you, you know, mostly we in the greenhouse, we'd trim them off. But in some cases you do want the suckers, but you still have to trim them back in sometimes because there might be too many of them. And so that takes kind of refining. And that could be happening with the broom here in that, you know, there's a lot of growth going on here, but that growth also has to be pared down into, you know, exactly what's needed the most. And that time alone helps to do that because, you know, they maybe have had too many things going on. If you're in a relationship with someone right now and they're kind of pulling back right now from you, it's because they just need the time to be on their own for a little bit because they have work to do. It's internal work, it's for their own personal growth, which of course is gonna help the love relationship. And it is about sweeping away, like them to sort out what it is they need. And it is a transition they're going through. It's not gonna last forever. Transitions by definition mean a change from one state into another. So whatever you're seeing right now with them, if they're solitude and on their own, they're going through this transition. It's a state of being for a time and then it changes into something else. And it's making way and room for heart and what or who, who or what you really love and the passion to come back, you know, better than ever uh, for you if you are already in a relationship and they're pulling back right now. So just allow it. Like, you know, that would be my advice. You know, just allow. You need to let, it, let, let them be for a bit. Oh, see? Cliff, eager and ready for the next step. Like I said, this is just a passage of time. And it's helping them prepare for the next step. And they'll, they're will they very, I feel like they're really on the brink right now for the next step. It could even be that by the time you watch this message, this is what they've been going through. This is the transition. This is why they've been on their own for a while and why you're now going to see them coming back in your life in some way or coming into your life for the first time in, in some way because they're now eager and ready to take the next step. And it even says committed. They're committed to taking the next step. So let's just take one more card here and see what we have. Um, so I have yarn. It's things that need to be untangled. It really goes back to this. It's like, okay, they have a lot of this stuff growing. It's similar to the sweeping. There are some things that needed to be untangled there. So that's what I've got for you, Taurus. Um, thanks so much for watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel. If you'd like a personal reading, you can go ahead and purchase one of my regular personal readings, or you could take advantage of just this limited time, maybe the next week or two. I'm not sure how long I'll do it. I'll, I'll let you know when I'm done with that for a while. But I'm, I want to um, have some people kind of step forward in a way 
of having me do a reading for them where you're volunteering to allow me to publicly post that reading. Your name will not be in it. There'll be no names said in the whole reading. So only you will know it's for you. You can make a donation, whatever, whatever you can afford to give is fine. A smaller donation will be a shorter reading and a larger donation can be a larger reading. Um, I feel like sometimes the messages that come through in a private reading can really benefit a lot of people and because every single one of you can listen to a message and you'll know if that message had anything in it for you or not. And also I find that when I have specific questions I'm reading toward, a lot of times a lot of people have those same questions and then you know more people can benefit from it and I get a more I get a better reading when I have um, specific questions that I'm going by so so I thought I would try that for a bit and thank you so much and we'll see you around soon.